Hi. In this third module, we are shifting gears away from reactions to learn about spectroscopy. We will learn methods to identify an unknown compound, determine the reaction's outcome, etc. If we have an unknown, say a white powder or an oil, we can figure out its molecular structure, including stereochemistry. If we do a reaction in the lab, we can't just take it for granted that the reaction has worked the way we want it to. We have to actually prove the outcome. In this video, I'll describe a few important techniques and give some background. One important technique is called elemental analysis. This technique is used to identify the empirical formula, that's the smallest whole number ratio of atoms. Even though only a very small amount of sample is required, you do have to burn the sample in order to determine which atoms are present. With very precious samples, if we've isolated something, say, from a rare marine sponge, and now we have to burn the few milligrams that we've obtained, well, that's a big problem. On the other hand, this is a very sensitive and very useful technique. Mass spectrometry is another important technique used to identify the mass of a molecule. It's very useful in determining isotopic ratios, to identify certain atoms and fragmentation patterns, even sometimes the origin of a compound. Once we know the empirical formula and molecular mass, we can figure out the molecular formula. Using the molecular formula, we can figure out the degree of unsaturation in a molecule. Degrees of unsaturation gives a hint as to how many double bonds, triple bonds, or rings there are in a molecule. Infrared spectroscopy can be used to identify key functional groups in a molecule, such as a ketone, alkyne, and alcohol. There are other reasons to use it, although these are the only ones we'll focus on in this course. The technique we are going to be concentrating on the most in this part of the course is Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy, or NMR. NMR can give us the most exact determination of a molecular structure. It will help us figure out exactly how atoms are connected together, even stereochemical information. Generally speaking, we use these techniques in order to identify the structure of an unknown compound, to determine the outcome of a reaction, and for many other reasons.